in the news, which I thought I would share. A Texas homeowner has hanged President Obama in effigy from a tree on his front yard by hanging an empty chair. I'm sure that Clint Eastwood finds that amusing because certainly I find that fucking hilarious. Quoting the homeowner, I don't really give a damn whether it disturbs you or not. You take your concerns and go straight to hell and take Obama with you. After you cut him down, I guess. I don't give a shit. If you don't like it, don't come down my street." Unquote. Perfectly reasonable to me. People who don't like it do not have to look. They can take another street. Or they can go and burn this guy's house down. Perfectly okay by me if he wants to hang a chair from his front uh, from a tree in his front yard. Doesn't sound like a terrible eyesore to me. I don't see why anybody would complain. What makes this funny is that the same person won or was granted by the Homeowners Association in August 2010 the Yard of the Month Award. Kind of makes me wonder who he hanged in effigy back then. Second news item. Microwave popcorn lung victim was awarded $7 million. I bet you didn't know this, but if you eat two bags of artificially flavored microwave popcorn a day for years, this can damage your lungs when you open the bag up and you breathe in the fumes. It was, um, they've changed the formula now. It was that in the past, the artificial flavoring in the imitation butter, it just sounds so wonderful, doesn't it? Is dangerous if you breathe in too much. Of course, how dangerous is it for any human being to eat two bags of microwave popcorn per day for years. The article doesn't say how many years, but judging the image of the picture that um, I put linked down there, it's been decades. Seven million dollars. And this guy just suddenly is worried about his health. Seven million dollars worth of, hey, you damaged my health because I was eating your popcorn two bags a day for years. Uh, you owe me money.